Something is changing. Something is So why should you attend an applicant day? Well, chat to Korean students and meet your future classmates. Tour our beautiful campus. And your next home from home. Explore your department. And get a taste of your subject. See where you'll be learning and what you'll discover. Impatient to get to know us? Book on to an applicant day now. Every year our students gather together on today a particularly cold morning to, um, to inscribe the 30 articles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights into the stairs um, as a statement, an expression of the importance of human rights to all of us, but particularly to the university and to the Human Rights Centre. So for the next several weeks and months, people using campus crossing these stairs will be reminded or will learn about the importance of human rights. So that's ultimately the purpose. We'll be here again next year. I want to take a, a moment to thank all of our volunteers. There are 30 or 40 volunteers, almost all of them are students. Um, so again, it's a testament to the, the passion of, uh, of human rights students here at the University of Essex.
We are Essex. We are people who push the frontiers of knowledge. People who love to learn how, but want to question why. We'll help you explore, challenge and create informed, powerful ideas. We'll support you to discover new ground with our research excellence. We'll nurture your hard work and ambition through teaching and one-to-one -one support from world-leading academics and researchers. We'll continue to invest in the best facilities and support services for all of our students. And in addition to all of this, you'll be part of our diverse and international community with students and staff from every corner of the planet because we are a global research and learning community that lives, works and plays together. Whatever you hope to gain from studying with us, whether it's advancing your career to learning more about your passion, we will prepare you for your next step. Now is the time to delve deeper, to work harder and to learn more. Now is the time to study a postgraduate degree at Essex. The Performance Support Programme at the University of Essex is really special. We have fantastic staff that work with our athletes, for our performance coaches, our strength and conditioning coaches, our performance analysts. We have fantastic facilities in our Essex Sport Arena, our new performance analysis coaching room and our locker room. And we're constantly striving for excellence. We have fantastic facilities. We have academic flexibility policy. You can study any course and you'll fall under that policy. We have lifestyle advisors. We have workshops. We have physiotherapists, sports therapists, and we are constantly striving to be better. I would describe the University of Essex Performance Sport Programme as revolutionary. We have built on our success over the last eight years, and we are now competing at professional sports level. We compete on a Wednesday as Essex Blades, and we compete on a weekend with our Essex Rebels professional teams. I would describe the programme as elite, difficult, challenging, worthwhile, kind of all these things put together, create something that you know I'd want to be a part of and really look forward to doing for the next few years. The facilities for me are second to none in the country. I've been to a lot of gyms in England and they don't come close to here. And then also competition wise, with Bucks and NBL, it allows you to prepare for those competitions in the right way. Obviously Bucks in the week is very important for the university and then for the club as a whole on the weekends, we're trying to compete and win trophies. So the facilities help massively. I would recommend coming here because I think the opportunities we get on campus as a performance team are very special. I have also studied in the US and played football there and I think here is a more personalized environment and also the opportunities we get in terms of the environment so we have great coaching staff, we have SNC programs, we have great facilities, amazing pitches, gym and I think that helps me as an athlete and it helps the people around me and I feel myself grow as a person as well in this environment and become a better player and teammate for those around me. The accommodation we have is part of the package. We are in the Athletes' Village. It's really close to the arena, so you're really close to pretty much your second home and you're with like-minded people. Everyone's there for a reason, they're doing a sport. Especially if they're in the performance programme, it really helps because they know what you're going through and they know kind of what your day-to-day -day life is like. The uh, training is really, really good. We train every day. You can see people grow and it can be slow, but you can tell over time that people as a team are getting better and individually we're getting better. And that's alongside the gym workouts with Justin, with our SNC coach. The work that I do here at Essex is essentially just trying to support everything physical with all of the athletes, from improving their performance, rehabilitating injuries, uh, and essentially trying to manage their loading to make sure they're at their best when it comes to game day. We focus on building relationships 
with each of those athletes, the better my relationship is with the athletes, the more buy-in that they're going to have, and generally the, the better improvements we'll see in what they do. We also offer bursaries for undergrad and postgrad students. Bursaries can be used for things like equipment and it can also be used for event play to help you towards your travel if you wish to play a tournament outside the university. Also, it can also be used for, to help you with your stay here at the university as well. Tennis has grown at the university and this is due to the financial support to allow us to grow and to become one of the leading tennis programmes in the UK. So the scholarship opportunity offers me just the opportunity to be here, you know? I think if it wasn't for the scholarship, I would not be able to, to be here today. And I'm just incredibly thankful for that. As an international, it's not just harder to be away from family, but financially it's even harder because it's actually more expensive for internationals. So having a scholarship, it's vital for us and so, I'm incredibly thankful to be able to have the scholarship. Hi, I'm Barry and welcome to the Colchester Campus Tour. We're starting off by the lakes, a beautiful place to study or just have a barbecue with your friends. This campus is made of five squares surrounded by lovely parkland. So, let's get started. This is the Silverad Student Centre, where you'll find student information, plenty of study spaces, and our finance and IT support desks. At the back of Silverad is where we have our creative studios for everything student media related. Next to Silverad, you'll find the Lakeside Theatre, a 200 seat theatre where we host various productions and live screenings all throughout the year. Let's head over there now. is the Albert Sloman Library. It's our main library on campus with six floors of books and archives, as well as our famous Paternoster Lift, one of only two in the UK. This is the Ivercrew Lecture Hall. As well as having some of your lectures here throughout your studies, it's also where we have graduation to celebrate the end of your degree. Opposite Ivor Crew is Art Exchange. Here we have various art exhibits as well as workshops and events throughout the year. Now let's go to square four. Here is where you're going to find our campus store where you can go and pick up a few bits that you need as well as most of our food outlets including Buffalo Joe's and Top Bar. Now we're on square three. This is where you'll find the Students' Union reception, as well as more of our food outlets, and the biggest bar on campus, the SU Bar. You can join in on a quick pub quiz, or just play pool and hang out with your friends. Under square three is where we have our nightclub, Sub-Zero. We have loads of club events, DJ nights, and solo artists come and perform. Every Thursday, we have our market on campus, where we have loads of local vendors who will come and showcase what they have. Now we're in LTB, the Lecture Theatre building. This is where you're going to have most of your lectures, but it's also where you'll find the Students' Union Cinema. Welcome to the Sports Arena. 
seating over 1,500 people, it's home to our Essex Rebels sports teams. We also have a sports hall, pitches, a gym, and even a climbing wall. Wednesdays are dedicated to sports here on campus. We have over 50 different sports clubs for you to join and choose from, and you also will have the opportunity to compete against other universities. The campus has loads of other interesting buildings, including the carbon neutral Essex Business School, Wivenhoe House Hotel, the STEM Centre and our teaching centres. We also have a variety of accommodation options covering all budgets ranging from the towers to the pastures. our campus at glance it really does have everything you need hope you enjoyed the tour and we're looking forward to seeing you here soon Hi, I'm Farry and welcome to the University of Essex South End Campus Tour. So we're starting off inside the forum. This is where you're going to find the library as well as our student support services. We have individual study pods as well as group study areas. And this is also where you're going to find your employability and careers team. Just across the road from the Forum is where you'll find the Gateway Building. In here is where we have IT labs, a common room and our Student Union Advice Centre where you as a student have access to free confidential advice. Students on our oral health science courses have the opportunity to work with our dental simulators to develop the skills they'll be using as hygienists or dental therapists. For our nursing and occupational therapy students, we have our high fidelity simulation suite. Students here can practice their clinical skills in a controlled environment before going out into the real world for their placements. Next to the Gateway Building is where you'll find the SU Lounge. This is the place to come and relax in between your lectures. The cafe in the lounge serves hot food, drinks and snacks, all at student-friendly prices. Clifftown Theatre is home to the world-renowned East 15 Acting School here in South End. It's a state-of-the-art performance venue inside this converted Gothic-style church. Inside, you have a main theatre room as well as five unique rehearsal studios, three of which have rigging bars for aerial circus practice. Heading out on the high street, you can find plenty of big name brands as well as loads of independently owned cafes and shops. We also have two shopping centres, Royals and the Victoria. Keep walking down the high street and soon you'll be at the seafront. Whether you're in the mood for an adrenaline rush or just want to relax at one of our award winning beaches, there is plenty to do in South End. South End Pier is the longest pleasure pier in the world, stretching for over 1.3 miles. But don't worry, if you're not in the mood for walking, there's a train that runs the entire length of the pier. Next to the campus, we have a train station that has regular trains connecting South End and London. So that was our South End campus tour. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you here soon.
Please be seated. The Chancellor, Dr. Sarah Perry, will now open the ceremony and deliver the opening address. Thank you. Good morning. I declare this graduation ceremony open. It really is the most enormous pleasure and privilege to welcome graduands and colleagues from the University of Essex online, and also to welcome all the partners, families, friends, and university guests who have come here today to celebrate. And this is a particularly special graduation because there are also graduands and their families and friends joining us online from over 50 countries, the whole world, brought together today to celebrate you. And I want to extend an extremely warm welcome to those who are joining us remotely. You are here with us, and you are part of this very, very special day. Graduation really is the highest point and the happiest day of the whole academic year. Those of you who have never experienced a graduation ceremony before may have wondered what you were letting yourselves in for, and probably by now you've realized it's like a strange combination of a wedding day with an enormous family, a music festival, and a kind of birthday party. This is the moment when we celebrate your hard work and your achievements. This is the day when the entire university is pausing to reflect on everything that you have undertaken to reach this moment and to congratulate you on the successful award of your degree. This is now the 17th year of our partnership with Kaplan Open Learning, and I think we should take a moment to celebrate the remarkable fact that we now have over 4,000 students registered online on our programs. We are so proud of the Essex University online programs, and particularly proud that we have one of the country's highest records of student satisfaction on our programs, which is entirely down to the incredible tenacity hard work, drive and vision of both our students and the amazing staff who teach you. Now, I want you to know that I know how hard you have worked to get here during your studies. I know that you will have endured long nights on far too much caffeine and monster drinks. Now, I'm old enough to remember, and some of you might be able to remember too, that you used to be able to buy something called a Pro Plus tablet. And there'd be tiny white tablets, and each tablet was like a double espresso. And I have horrible memories of failing to meet a deadline on a Milton essay and taking 15 in one night. When I woke up the next morning, I was sort of vibrating from head to foot and was sort of intercepting radio waves from outer space. Apparently, you can still get them online. Do not take this as a recommendation. I know that you will have despaired over the internet connection, cutting out just as a seminar was about to start. I know that you will have settled down to work just as drilling starts next door. I know that people will have crashed into your office when you have told them three times that you are working online that day. I know that most of you have balanced your studies with work and employment, and that many of you will have had caring duties for children or other family members. What a remarkable amount of courage, tenacity and vision it has taken for you to get here today to celebrate in your very peculiar hats. I know that many of you will already be well established in your careers and that what you have achieved at Essex is going to enable you to take your career even further, taking forward not only the intellectual and the professional skills that you have been taught, but really fortifying your ability to take your place as citizens of the world. Because as an Essex graduate, that's just not a phrase. You really are citizens of the world. That is one of the truly remarkable qualities of your Essex education. You are taking your place in a family of graduates from over 150 countries, 
all of you setting out on the next stage in your life containing the true Essex spirit and taking with you this university's commitment for celebrating anybody from any part of the world for who they truly are. Now, I've mentioned the Essex spirit, and some of you also, like me, may have occasionally been mocked for being an Essex girl. And I can hear titters of recognition from women who have suffered what I have suffered. So this has made me think about what the Essex spirit is. What makes an Essex girl or an Essex person? And I have decided it's this. The Essex spirit is to be willing to speak up in favour of the common good, even if people would rather that you kept silent. The Essex spirit is to act for the common good, even if this is very disruptive and people would rather you didn't. The Essex spirit is to be willing to be seen in public and to take your place in the world for the betterment of your community, even if people would rather you stayed indoors and didn't raise your voice. Now, it is always easier to act and speak together, which is why I do encourage you to keep in touch with this remarkable worldwide Essex family. I know some of you will be going on to postgraduate study, some of you will be continuing on your current career path, some of you will be setting out on all kinds of exciting new directions. But whatever your next step, please remember that you are now part of a family of over 125,000 Essex graduates from every corner of the earth. Now, I'm assuming that there is an Essex graduate as we speak in Antarctica having a conversation with a polar bear, so I insist that we are on every corner of the world. It's never been easier to keep in contact with friends, and I want you to consider Essex your old friend. After the ceremony, every single one of you will be able to collect an alumni card either here or finding out how to do it online, and this will keep you a part of the Essex family and will give you access to all kinds of benefits and events. So today really is the climax of your studies. It's the moment when you can pause and breathe and say, I finally did it. But, and this is very important, I don't want you to think this is the end. This is your beginning. You will find, as you move out onto your next adventure, either continuing to study with Essex or further out into the world, or both, you will discover that every single morning when you wake up, is the first day of your next adventure. You are never too old to continue striving after the next great thing. I discovered this last week, in fact. I think I'm technically middle-aged by now, but there are still many adventures lying ahead of me. And there was one thing I've always wanted to do that I have never done, and that was to see a total eclipse of the sun. So last week, I travelled to the States, and I woke up in snowy Vermont, and I stood in a place I'd never been before, with people I'd never met before, and saw something I'd never seen before, a total eclipse of the sun. And it was everything I hoped it would be. It went dark, it went cold, the birds stopped singing, dogs ran indoors in terror, and I saw the stars come out during the daytime. I want you to remember that whatever your version is of a solar eclipse, it's still ahead. I've always been in love with the sun and stars. You have your own sun and stars. It might be that your next adventure is further study with Essex. It might be taking your Essex spirit out into other professional training or into new employment. It might be something that you don't even know yet, and you'll discover it when you wake up tomorrow morning possibly with a headache, and you are struck by what your next adventure will be. So this really is a beginning. I know that your time studying with us will have helped you find out who you really are and exactly what you're really capable of. And I hope it has given you a fire to go out into the world, wanting to make the world a better place, even by the smallest of your day-to-day -day actions. We all want you to go out from here, onto your next adventure, onto your new beginning, 
with the Essex spirit within you. And if you ever feel a little lonely, remember that you are part of a family of 125 members. If you ever feel a little daunted, remember that it is necessary to be afraid in order to have courage. Be excited and be exciting. Carry on being amazing and be amazed by the world. And never, ever stop going after your own sun and stars. Thank you. We shall now proceed to the conferment of the degrees. But first, I have a job for you to do. Now, as you know, Essex has a remarkable worldwide reputation for excellence in research, for excellence in teaching, for superb student satisfaction. But there is another achievement of this great university, which is that we are known for making the rowdiest, most celebratory noises during our graduation ceremonies. So there is no amount of cheering and stamping and clapping, and I've heard singing and I've seen dancing that is too much for an Essex graduation ceremony. I want to hear it from online graduands and families coming down through the ether, and I want your joy to travel through the internet to everybody who is watching. So what we're going to do is this. After the next very important thing that I say, I want us to practice and see if we can raise this roof so high they can hear it in all of the 50 countries that have been involved in this remarkable day. Are you ready? Can you meet this challenge? Okay. Brace yourselves. I confer on all eligible graduands presented at this ceremony in person or in absentia the degrees, diplomas, and certificates to which they are entitled. Dr. Anna C. Lax, Dean of Partnerships, will now introduce the University of Essex online. Just tuck the glasses in. Hello, good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Anna C. Lax, Dean of Partnerships at the University of Essex. And I have the pleasure today of introducing you a little further to the University of Essex online and the very special work that happens there. And as Dr. Perry, the Chancellor, was just saying, over the last 17 years with the University of Essex online, we have transformed the lives and careers of over 6,000 alumni through sector-leading online learning, with students choosing to study with us from more than 100 countries worldwide. We currently have over 4,000 students studying over 92 courses, leading to University of Essex awards around the globe. And as students from the University of Essex online, you have uniquely and exceptionally completed your degrees through independent study, and you have singularly got here today under your own steam. For students who study online, who study for their degrees through digital learning, this is a remarkable story about individual accomplishment, about personal triumph and achievement. After all, you are the ones who have devoted the hours, the weeks, the months to your learning. You are the ones who have read the books. You are the ones who have learned new skills, who have wrestled the thoughts, who have written the words. This has to be the story of the battles fought and won on an individual's journey. This is surely the story of singular success. Kipling wrote in his poem, The Winner, what the moral, who rides may read, when the night is thick and the tracks are blind, 
A friend at a pinch is a friend indeed, but a fool to wait for the laggard behind. When by his aid and his aid disown, he travels the fastest who travels alone. He travels the fastest who travels alone. There might be something in that, that we achieve speed and velocity when we are unencumbered by the needs of others, that we win the race when we surpass others, that we win the sprint when we only look out for ourselves. But in sharing a number of graduations with the University of Essex Online students over the years, and in hearing the stories of triumphs, of the discoveries, of the achievements of students just like you, I have learned all over again that no education journey is ever alone. No one travels alone. We journey together. I'm more on the side of John Donne when he said, no man is an island entire of itself. Each man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. An education is all about comradeship and community and the sharing and exchange of knowledge and skills, an interconnected web of learning, of understanding, of interpretation and application that lace people communities and societies together. And the University of Essex Online brings together students from all across the globe, building connection and sharing ideas. Education is truly a collaborative practice when, even if sometimes you are working in a room alone online, you are working in concert with the practitioners, with the writers, with the theorists that have come before and in partnership with the tutors, some of whom who are sitting here today, and the professional support staff uh, who have guided your learning, who have cared for your progress and watched over your journey. And furthermore, our learning is supported by our personal communities, the networks that surround us, from the people who raised us to the people that made us and those that saved us and gave us the inspiration and the determination to carry on walking onwards and reaching upwards. Our learning is supported by our families, our birth families and our chosen families, our friends and even our work colleagues. They have made the space for us to devote the hours, the weeks and the months to our studies. They have folded our laundry. They have taken the kids out. They have bought us a cup of coffee to make space for us to achieve. Other people. They write the books. They read our words. They guide our hands as we learn the new craft. And you are also the other people doing this work for the people around you. Your graduation today from the University of Essex Online is the story of your success through collaboration and community, is the story of battles fought and won on a team journey. He travels the fastest who travels alone. What a pitiable world Kipling evokes. Traveling alone will not do for the kind of world we have to build and the kind of work we have to do. Together, ours is a different work of bringing on new technologies and making new understandings, of building bridges, repairing old wounds, improving the world around us, inspiring the next generation. And as you take the next step on your journey, you will know that your education experience at Essex Online, that through working together, collaborating, sharing knowledge and handing on skills is essential to making lasting and deep-rooted progress. Working together in our communities, we have the chance to make change. And this truly is the Essex spirit. An education with the University of Essex Online provides you with the experience and opportunities you need to reach your full potential. Your success is also a success for the University of Essex Online, and we hope that as you leave, as Essex graduates, you will go on to achieve all your ambitions. So, if you want to travel fast, go alone. If you want to travel far, go together. And today, no one graduates alone. You graduate together. You graduate because of all the people who brought you here and who brought you to this point of your exceptional success. And I am honored today to come to your graduation, to share in these joyful moments and to see and feel the power of community. Go far, go together. 
On behalf of the University of Essex, I would like to congratulate you all on the successful award of your degrees. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Janie Henderson, Deputy Academic Director from the University of Essex Online, will now present the graduands. Okay, Chancellor, the following graduates from the University of Exeter Online are present. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Olegidi Alaroni. <laughs> Scott Dello. Ileana Geki Navadli. <laughs> Ellis Hall. <laughs> Mark Jones. <laughs> Ingrid Lambert. Chita Lin. <laughs> Peter Okeka. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Business Management, Dinesh Anthony. Gladys Mutoni Gayadi Agje. Georgia Lovett. Gwenling Ye. And for the degree of Master of Education, Benjamin Holmes. <laughs> Jasmine Newman. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Laws, Wang Ching Yu. Marjo Chowdhury. <laughs> Gemma Lockhart. <laughs> Nicholas Donner. Zanab Hassan. <laughs> Regina Cogan Butler. <laughs> okay, and for the degree of Master of Public Health, Georgina Charity Adoma Marfo. Mariam Al Abdullah. <laughs> Bakari Dibber. <laughs> Henry Drury. <laughs> N 
Nikita Haynes. Megan Hollywood Harry. <laughs> Dua Mohammed. <laughs> Latifa Odane. <laughs> Olu Wakimi Olu Sanjo. Claire Weber. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science, Priscilla McKing. <laughs> Francis Azu. Adeniki Taiwo Momoslu. <laughs> Patiam Kunaf Ne Dinesh. Abiyuwa Diana Oluda. If you are on your Ilias Pantos. <laughs> Mati Asa Pap La Ado. Galvin Saba Kaki. <laughs> Rebecca Sutherland. <laughs> Marissa Alves de Suso Samba. Dario Dasisti. <laughs> Gennaro Coppola. <laughs> Taylor Edgell. <laughs> Andre Smirnov. Shandon Swanlow. <laughs> Pavendran Rimmer Lendran. <laughs> Max Briley. <laughs> Jessica King. And the recipient of the 2023-24, the Kaplan Open Learning Top Postgraduate Criminology Graduate, is Jessica Murray. <laughs> Sophia Swallow. Terry Taylor. <laughs> Vipav Chola. <laughs> Jan Kufner. <laughs> Lee. 
Louis Sebastian Zenevartner. <laughs> Zoe Mingiano. <laughs> Petra Mitzi. <laughs> Naya Plebear Check. Shaima Raddy. <laughs> Evangelia Tisibiklu. <laughs> Carol Adel. Josephine Arthur Amoa. <laughs> Joanne Andrew. <laughs> Joseph Bacon. <laughs> Kajar Bethel. Maslin Chitua. <laughs> Summer Kaniepi. <laughs> One Mag Banua. Amir Patel. <laughs> Victoria Sedgwick. <laughs> Sobia Armadia. <laughs> Satim Amada. Martha Camilleri. <laughs> Reem Atif Debis. <laughs> Shadok Gare. Michelle Gillings. <laughs> Crystal M. Pofu. <laughs> Bibi Rejmi. Nia Sami. <laughs> Tamina Lisa Akta. <laughs> Natalia Bento. You, Nalia Hess. <laughs> Nicole Marinova. Good news, Oku. Maria Frischlack. Yeah. 
Nikita Putri. Olu Wafahimi Adesini. Sabina Edesotu. In day Elizabeth Adeyemo, <laughs> Irene Agifewa, <laughs> Gasafri Anil Kumar. Poppy Bazai. <laughs> Cherry Ling Dakerson. <laughs> Antonella Farugia. Lucy Mountfield. <laughs> Sadie Muscat. <laughs> Mariam Ola Tunji. Elaine Ramos. <laughs> Khalid Afsa. <laughs> Edwin Alote. Frank Gur, <laughs> Vanessa E. Yang, <laughs> Gordon J, <laughs> Christine Muzinzi Mulindi. Peter Shale, <laughs> Kelvin Ward, <laughs> and the recipient of the 2023 The Kaplan Open Learning Top Postgraduate Student. Um, psychology graduate is Laura Elizabeth Brown. <laughs> Madison Lyman. <laughs> and for the degree of postgraduate diploma, Nikawi. Christoph. <laughs> Me Mahu Ya <laughs> Simon Hammond Claudia Alves de Sousa Sambo. <laughs> Roxana Alexandra Cresta. <laughs> 
Nikita Stone. Daniel Udo. Daniel Budai. Claire McLean. Sunam Rai. Lucy Savov. Ingita Chand. Sushima Uk Chanji Najivu. And for the degree of postgraduate certificate, we have Danielle Phillips. <laughs> Caroline O'Donnell. <laughs> Wasim Mahabu Basha. Queen Ipindumu. <laughs> Natasha Endiko. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, we have Salim Al Jusame. Judith Akuziki Chipuliri Chikuhala. <laughs> Aslahan Kavala. <laughs> Haley Kuta. Chloe Mays. John Napoleon Kofi. Juan Perez Migia. Yob Omondi Swamba. <laughs> Lorenda Waite. <laughs> Bulent Zini. Abhishek Agrawal. <laughs> Adelia Chandra. <laughs> Yuri Choi. Sukhyun Khan. <laughs> Chungyorin Kim. <laughs> Misawa Mabrook. Razan Al Nafer. <laughs> C. 
Simone Antona. Carolyn Berry. Kirsty Collier. Leonard Doe. Emily Many. Gail Wonson. And for the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Kirsty Aston. And the recipient of the 2023 the Kaplan Open Learning Top Undergraduate Law Student is Katie Buescher. <laughs> Rebecca Darmanin. <laughs> Kudawashi <laughs> Gawiwi. Stacey Jones. Yes. Catherine Kelly. <laughs> Laura Louise McPhilgan. <laughs> Bamadele Junior Solomon. Oliver Walker. <laughs> Siwoo. <laughs> Stephanie Achibu. <laughs> Priyashini Gulja. Aisha Imranka Hill. Danielle Louise Harrington. Jibulane Sabanda. Kerry Stone. Raylene House. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Donna Indrawati. <laughs> Zara Maksud. Sonia Olinska. <laughs> Makia Kello. <laughs> and the recipient of the 2023 the Kaplan Open Learning Top Undergraduate Health Graduate is Damalo Akinlo. <laughs> Leila Ekshi. <laughs> C. 
Selma Indra Walalundra and Del Pandula Nangola. <laughs> Hadi Altin. It is Alvarez Hernandez. And the recipient of the 2023-24, the Kaplan Open Learning Top Undergraduate Psychology Graduate, Julie Williams. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of the graduates from the University of Essex Online. Kieran Phillips, the president of the Essex Students' Union, will now address our new graduates. To every graduate, many congratulations. Your hard work and your dedication to your studies have paid off, and today you join our Essex alumni community. When I started here, a very wise professor said to me, why talk about the changes you want to see when you can make those changes yourself? These are words that have stuck with me, and today I pass them on to you. Because with an Essex degree, you've not just learnt knowledge, but how to change the world also. So many of you during your time studying have questioned the status quo, and I know that as you continue to do this throughout your career, you will make the world a better place. At Essex, you haven't just been to university. Whether you were up before sunrise or still studying late into the night, the friends you've made and the contributions you gave helped make us who we are, and you will remember these moments for the rest of your lives. As sure as I am that you will look back at these memories with joy, we will also look back with the same appreciation thanks to you, our Student Union members. Your infectious energy, whether in person or on Zoom, made our community stronger, and for that I thank you. Whether you were caring for loved ones or balancing a job with your studies, the sacrifices that you made were worth it. And at a university where we truly believe that no challenge is too great for our students, you have embodied that and you made every single one of us proud. However, behind every graduate, there is an amazing team of support, whether that's your lecturers, the staff in student wellbeing, or your amazing family and friends. Without them, you would not be here today and without them, you would not be the change seekers that you are. So with that in mind, I want to ask every graduate to stand and join me in a round of applause for everyone who helped get you here to your graduation today. Thank you all for that. Wherever you go next, and whatever change you do make in the world, please remember us, because we will certainly remember the joy that we had with all of you. Congratulations again. Please do enjoy your day, get lots of amazing photos in your gowns, and remember that you may be leaving Essex, but Essex will forever be a part of you. I know that every one of you has the ability and the will to change the world, and to create a more compassionate, caring society. And I cannot wait to see every single one of you thrive. Please do stay in touch. Good luck, and thank you. Next, the Chancellor will close the ceremony 
After the procession has left the auditorium, please resume your seats to watch on the screens as our new graduates leave the auditorium and walk across the bridge to square five where you can meet them. And then, as they do, I hope you will join me in giving them a final flourish of applause. Chancellor. Well, this has been a miracle of learning and skill and tenacity and internet connections. And thank you all for the role you've played in making it such a joyous occasion. And I now declare this wonderful graduation ceremony closed. If you feel able, please stand.
Thank you.